Okay, so on this problem, we're looking to find out what values of x make this true. To do these, whenever you've got th anything beyond a linear inequality, you want to get it set to uh, 0 on one side. So I'm just going to subtract from both sides this whole thing. So that gives me x plus 2 over x plus 3 minus x minus 1 over x minus 2. Well, to deal with this, I'm going to need to uh, add these two fractions together. So if I add the two fractions together, I can just use them uh, x plus 3 times x minus 2 as the denominator. So that's my denominator. So my numerator is going to be, for each one, well, I'm going to multiply x minus 2 times x plus 2. Okay, I've multiplied the x minus 2 to the denominator. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that multiplication. That one's an easy one. That's the difference of two squares, so it's going to be x squared minus 4. And then I need to multiply x plus 3 times x minus 1, which is going to give me x squared. When you just go through and you can do this multiplication off to the side, but it's going to be x, so x plus 3 times x minus 1 is x squared plus 2x minus 3. I need to add these together. So my denominator is going to be x plus 3, x minus 2, which I don't, want to, I don't want to multiply that out because it's nice as it is. And then what's nice on this one is, because this is a subtraction problem, x squared minus x squared cancel themselves out. Then the minus applies to the 2x, so you're going to have a negative 2x. And the negative 4 minus a negative 3 becomes plus a plus, so it becomes negative 1. So my new fraction looks like this, negative 2x minus 1 all over x plus 3 times x minus 2. That means the zeros are easy to find. When does the numerator equal 0? Well, just set that out, that equation out. Two, negative 2x minus 1 equal to 0. Add 1. Negative 2x equals 1. Divide by negative 2. x equals negative 1 half. So that's one of the zeros. And then the, prob the problem we get, for instance, when does the denominator equal 0? Well, that happens at, so x can't equal negative 3, x can't equal 2. So you're always looking for what are the values that make it equal to 0, what are the values that x can't be. But you have to do this adding together to get to that process. This gives me some regions of possible solutions. I put in negative 3 as a possible solution, um, negative 1 half, and 2. And so that creates me four regions, from negative infinity to negative 3, negative 3 to negative 1 half, negative 1 half to 2, 2 to infinity. And then I can just check points to find out if it works. So I can put negative 4 there, negative 1, 0, and 3. So I'm going to go back to this equation down here to see if it's true. Okay, so if I put in negative 4, it's going to be 8 minus 1, which is 7. So I'm testing negative 4 here. So it's going to be negative 4 times negative 2 is 8. 8 minus 1 is 7 over negative 1 times negative 6. Well, because there are two negatives, that becomes a positive. So this whole answer is positive. A positive cannot be less than 0. So negative 4 will not be true in this particular inequality. Try negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 2 is a positive 2, so 2 minus 1 is 1. A negative 1 plus 3 is a positive 2. A negative 1 minus 2 is a negative 3. So I've got one negative sign this time, so that means the whole thing is negative, and so is that going to be less than or equal to 0? Well, yes, a negative number will be less than or equal to 0. So negative 1 is a good solution. If I put in 0, I get negative 2 times 0, which is 0. So negative 1, 0 plus 3 is 3, 0 minus 2 is negative 2. So negative 1 over negative 6 is a positive. A positive can never be less than 0, so 0 doesn't work. And then we try 3. Negative, three, two, negative 2 times 3 is negative 6, so you get negative 7 on top. 3 plus 3 is 6 on bottom. 3 minus 2 is 1 on bottom. So you've got a negative number there, which is less than zero, so that's good. So that region works as well. So the two regions that work are this region and this region. So my, we write the answer as 
Well, we got to we got to decide if we're going to use a parentheses or a bracket. So um, negative three was one of those x can't equal. So we know we got to use a bracket there. So it's going to be from negative infinity to negative three, and then union with union with two, which two also is something it couldn't the answer couldn't be. Oh, we did that wrong. Sorry. Let's go back to the start. Negative three to negative infinity to negative three doesn't work. It's negative three to negative one half, and negative one half does equal zero. So you've got to put uh, brackets there because it's less than or equal to zero. And then union with two, which does not x cannot equal all the way to infinity. So there's your answer: negative three to negative one half union with two to infinity.